Right then, so I want the first four terms for 2 plus 3x squared. So 2 plus 3x to the minus 2, so 1 over it. Take the 2 out, 2 to the minus 2, 1 plus 3x over 2 to the minus 2. Do that little mini expansion, so 1 plus 3x over 2 to the minus 2, so 1 plus n x, one of the first four terms, so that's going to x cubed again, uh, n, n minus 1, x squared over 2, n, n minus 1, n minus 2, x cubed, 3 times 2. So the 1 plus an x bit gives us, oops, come on there. So 1 minus 3x, that cancels, cancels, plus, plus 9 over 4. Oops. I'm not, I'm not so confused with where I'm at here. Uh, so two's cancel plus plus. I know twenty seven. Um, this is why you use your calculator. You don't stuff around trying to do it in your head. Twenty seven over four x squared uh, minus 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 three times two cancels. So twenty seven times. Uh, 27 over 4, I'm guessing. I'm not going to use the calculator for this part. Got it? 27 over 2. So you're going to do it in your calculator. So you'll do, you'll put in what you see, but without the x. That way you don't get it wrong like right me. So 2 plus 3x to the minus 2. So the my, 2 to the minus 2 is a quarter. So I multiply 3 by a quarter of the one we've got there. So it's going to be a quarter of 1 minus 3x plus 27 over 4x squared minus 27 over 2x cubed. So it's going to give me for 2 plus 3x to the minus 2. It'll give me a quarter minus 3 quarters of x plus 27 over 16x squared minus 27 over 8x cubed. Oof, so that's that bit done. I've used it loads of steps, so I've not used to me. So then it says, hence find the coefficients of this. Now it's important to see that as 1 minus 5x multiplied by 2 plus 3x to the minus 2. Because that way you can see that all I have to do is multiply by what have we got here? So I've got 1 minus 5x multiplied by my answer. A quarter minus 3 quarters of an x plus 27x squared over 16. That's a 16. Minus 27x cubed over 8. Now it wants the x cubed bit. So I've got to think, all right, what bits multiply together to give me x cubed? Well, 1 times by 27. So I've got 1, so that for the x cubed, I've got 1 times by minus 27 over 8x cubed. And I've got minus 5x times 27 over 16 x squared. So this is just finding, because the question wanted you just to find the coefficients of x cubed. So I don't need to expand all that mess. I just need to think about what would give me x cubed. So I've got minus 27 over 8 x cubed, and I've got minus 5 times 27, which is 135, isn't it? I 
So if I add them together, hopefully, if this is right, I get minus y9 over 16, that's 2. And I've got to remember that that's the term. So the coefficient is minus 1 over 9 over 16. Yeah. So that's not too bad because you've done the expansion and you've got to realise that the expansion is the bottom line. So I'm multiplying it, I'm expanding a bit out. I only need to go to x cubed. So I need to think about what the x cubed term is. Now there is a question for you doing the same thing. So see if you can follow it through and do it and do it. Now there is another, uh, there's another example of the next page, which is a quick example, so it's quite quick. So I'll stop the bit there and then we'll move on.